All right, folks, let's do a real quick report. We're going to be talking about the dam, but I want to start out with the Nexrad Reflectivity Composite Loop Map. Uh, last night I came on here real quick to do a uh, unedited report because there was some strange radar image coming from New Jersey. While we're getting that same type of image right now, uh, it looks like the Phoenix area. Some weird things going on in Arizona. I don't know if you all knew, but uh, it snowed in Arizona yesterday in Flagstaff. I and mean, it's just absolutely crazy to see snow in Arizona at the end of May. I don't know, folks. It's, uh, let's look at this again. It's just getting crazy right now, this, uh, these radar images. And uh, we've got this front here, and I keep on saying they, they're uh, producing these uh, tropical-type storms that never move eastward. They're just, they're, they, they start in Texas, they move northward, they've got a long line, and then they just kind of wrap, wrap around once they get to uh, the Midwest. My goodness, folks. The Midwest is just so soggy right now. So much rain, you know that it's got to affect the crops. Man, a oh man alive. What is going on? Let's uh let's move to Lake Orville because there's some interesting things that I found out today. The uh, current water level is 890 feet, 0.93. That's a little bit more than yesterday, but it's very difficult to get more information on what's going on with uh, the dam. Come over to, uh, coming over here to the live cams, the spillway, the top of the spillway, the bottom of the spillway, I haven't been able to get a live stream now for about three days. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not able to, so... Uh, Please leave me a comment if you're able to get some live streaming from the, uh, the spillway, because I can't. Very interesting. Uh, somebody had left me a uh, comment talking about these guys. Uh, I, I guess you pronounce this Kaiwit. Kaiwit leads the uh, phase two of Oroville Dam Spillway Repair. So this is the construction people that were chosen to do the repairs, Kaiwet, this interesting uh, group, the Kaiwet brothers, that started in 1890 something. We'll find that out here in a second. The interesting thing about these guys is that they are also contract miners. Kaiwet specializes in uh, mine management, production, infrastructure construction, maintenance, and contract mining ventures offering some of the most highly skilled and experienced professionals in the industry. I think it's quite a coincidence that in 2017, after the failure of the dam, that uh, there was a gold rush. They found gold. And then all of a sudden, in 2019, they hire these guys. It's a mining company. I mean, they do other stuff, too. They uh, build infrastructure, but uh, they're a mining company. So uh, is it a coincidence, folks? Uh, I don't think so, folks. I, I think what's going on at the dam there has a lot to do with gold. I'm not saying it's got the only thing to do with gold, but uh, are they mining gold there? Well, that's what these guys do. Interesting, more interesting things about the uh, Kaiwit Brothers masonry chi contractors. They were founded in 1884. Peter and Andrew Kaiwit, they're of Dutch descent. And uh, when I saw that they were masonry contractors, I thought to myself, are these guys masons? Are they Freemasons? Well, I'll come over here. Because that company is uh, based in Nebraska, and I get Albert Pike Lodge number 333. Remember that number, 333, as well. It's all about numerology sometimes for these, oh, not sometimes, but it's about numerology with these guys. Lodge history, Freemasonry came to Nebraska with the 
first hardy pioneers who arrived in Nebraska territory, the first lodge, uh, what would become Nebraska Lodge Number One. It goes on, and then it comes. It goes on to the paragraph here. It was common for Omaha's business community to meet as Masons, men like Peter Kiewit. There's that name again. That's the company that's over there at the Lake Oroville right now, fixing the dam, looking for gold. Chuck Durham and a few other names. And it goes down to say Albert Pike Lodge number 333 was chartered in 2014. But I th think that's so interesting that these guys are, uh, this company was founded by Freemasons. And now they're working on uh, perhaps mining for gold. We come over here. Remember I said that name, that number 333? Well, FEMA is refusing to pay California more than $300 million to repair the nation's tallest earthen dam. This was uh, May 8, 2019. This is according to State Federal Emergency Management Agency plans to reimburse California for only $333 million of the cost instead of $639 million sought by California. Yes, folks, there's that number 333 again. How... How ironic is that? Well, folks, that's it. I, you know, if you if you know more about what's going on with the dam, let me know because I'm also going to be doing some reports here in the uh, future about some um, interesting documents that I've found on the internet. This one's from 1996. Uh, it's got uh, Frank got NSA's permission to make this report available. So this is a report. Uh, has to do with the NSA and how to make a mint, the cryptography of anonymous electronic cash. So our good friend Kent from Freedom Social is absolutely right in my opinion that the government has their hands all over the place with cryptocurrency and probably were the ones that initiated Bitcoin. But yeah, folks, this is they're talking about cryptocurrency in 1996 and this is the NSA so yeah folks if you don't think that the that Bitcoin is being controlled by the government right now I think that there's a very good argument that they are there's also an interesting one what is this one? Oh yeah this one's from uh, 1965 we'll be talking about this uh in the future as well but this is uh tell your friends if uh, they're saying that you wear a tin foil hat because you talk about weather modification this is from 1965 it was secret chief general science division and you're you're going to see how scientists in 1965 were saying that there was a, a dire need to modify the weather. And I'm not going to get into it right now, folks, but and I'll leave the links to these uh to these documents. But, you know, I mean, it's just uh folks, everything that we've been talking about is coming out. You know, even the Bible says that there's nothing that's going on that was hidden that will not be revealed in the end times. And I I think that's happening right now. All of this stuff is coming out because you can find it on the internet. And I got to tell you another thing. If you do find something on the internet and you think it's important, you need to download it, get it on your hard drive, and then get it on an external drive because I think at some point this stuff is going to go bye-bye. You're just not going to be privy or able to get the information anymore. I'm already seeing that about a lot of things that I used to be able to find rather easily about 9-11 is going away. It's very difficult to find stuff out now about these uh, false flags and such. Anyway, God bless you folks. Uh, as always, please, uh, I'm asking you if this is Victorious Libertas because I'm going to put this on both channels. Go ahead and subscribe, please, because we're coming out with some really great information. 
and uh, subscribe to our uh, backup channel, RIDRAD, that's R-I-D-R-A-D. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. You'll see it pop up. You just go ahead and click on it and, uh, and subscribe to us. Anyway, folks, God bless you. Look forward to your comments. Have a great day, evening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.